Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. What was for all the He was good. He did a good job. Yeah. He was smart, uh, cunning. He did a good job. And are you guys still close or are you not? No, I don't think so. Uh, he is, uh, after I lost the election. Oh. I- what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, Glenn Kirshner can't get here soon enough I know. <laughs> this morning. Can we yeah, have him for two hours? Before I eat. <laughs> I have him. Well, we have him tomorrow night in Denver. You do. You don't have Yay. your tickets yet, man. Go. Get it. Sexyliberal.com. There's a lot. Sexy Liberal we'll Save the World Tour. Yeah. Um, Lawrence Tw- Tribe said this statement made on tape and on the record by Mr. Trump would be admissible in evidence against him on the issue of corrupt intent in the four Smith indictments in D.C. that SCOTUS is inexcusably keeping on hold in the United States versus yeah. Trump. Um, now, yeah, he did it, immediately go, I mean, I won the election. Yeah, but you could a, tell. He's like, oh, I got to do the lie. Right, right. After, but, he, but he still admitted he it. And when so, was that interview? Uh, last year. Was it last year? Yeah. Okay. Let's get that guy, apprentice book guy. I'll Can we get that to. guy? I'll okay. find out. Oh, also Bob Woodward says he's going to release all of the uh, Trump tapes. Now a warning, now. Bob. Thanks. Just to show how unfit he is, because that's just a new idea that's occurred to Bob. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um. Future Attorney General Glenn Kirshner literally (laughs) cannot get here soon enough this morning because we are, who knows, right? We're waiting Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. We're on tenter hooks. Yes. What are those? I have no idea what tenter hooks are. Aren't they for meat? No, those are meat hooks. Yeah, that was my niece's nickname. Okay. I... All I'm saying is my sphincter has got to unclench at some point. Because you need to poop at some point. Right? Yeah. Oh, I'm all backed up. Okay. (laughs) Because I just, I, this is why we need the Glenn Kirshners of the world, yes. because I, that's the problem with this Judge Cannon and this Supreme Court, who the mm-hmm. knows, right? What, I, I, nothing that we recognize. I remember when every legal expert said, oh, they're not going to take up immunity. It's ridiculous. Right. They're taking <laughs> not up only have they taken up, I think it was Andrew Weissman said the same thing we've been saying every day is that they have basically it's granted late. him the yeah. immunity that he's yeah. asking for. They know exactly what the they're doing. Yeah. They're holding this up so there is no trial before the election. So if Trump wins, it all goes away. It just, they're not even making a pretense anymore of not being uh, totally in the bag for Trump and totally political. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one, yeah, uh, Trump's when Trump's lawyers appear before Judge Cannon, this is the one next. I can't even keep up with his story, his legal story. Right. Glenn will explain that. It's a legal term. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next Thursday, they will reportedly make a sweeping request to have the judge talk, toss out a wide swath of evidence that Jack Smith is prepared to use. So this would be, uh, they're asking her to revoke prosecutors' access to memos made by his ex-lawyer that are central to the stolen document case. Um, these are the notes that Evan Corcoran, his yep. lawyer, Crime took. Crime fraud contem- exception. Yep. Right, thank you. I was... Wow. You know I what? Read the smartest mind. girl in class always has to skip ahead. I read your Judge mind. Judge <laughs> Carol Howell said they're fair game because of the crime fraud exception. I read your mind. Oh, she's that girl. <laughs> I know. And you're I like, did. I was totally that girl. So, yeah. But, yeah. I, oh, good Lord. So what are you thinking? You're thinking they're not going to do the immunity ruling today because today could be the day. I mean, I. It, Dear God, can you imagine? We will remember where we were if they rule. Then Joe Biden stays in office. Right. What did someone say? I hope uh, SEAL Team 6 and Biden are waiting outside Mar-a-Lago for the... Ruling. I think what they're going to do is grant partial immunity that the president already has. And that'll yeah. be it. The president already has immunity during official acts. Right. That's it. Yeah. Those weren't official acts. Does anyone else think it's disturbing that he's talking about nukes again? That I, yeah. I can't ever tell yep. what story is more... So like the governor of, of Puerto Bomb Rico? Shelley. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I just... That we still wake up in a, in a country where we could still give this deranged criminal lunatic the nuclear codes is mm-hmm. yes the uh, it's this uh, book because it's coming up uh, the puerto rico's former governor uh trump said i tell you what if nuclear war happens we won't be second in line pressing the button <sighs> one uh a political analyst said this is a continuation of trump's fascination with nuclear power he has long fancied himself to be some nuclear specialist right. because he had an uncle who was some kind of scientist at mit <sighs> it's the drive-by degrees that we've yes. all been right. yeah. because i'm very smart my relationship to M- mit 
Yes, like my, our relationship to anything we've driven by once. Okay, and he's talked about it since the 80s, and he's bragged, you know, he scared countless journalists in the run-up to the election, and it shows his fundamental instability and in that he is crazy, which is what voters uh, judge him on versus Biden and his age. I mean, I, mm -hmm. not to mention, he just listens to whoever talked to him last. Yeah. And if Lindsey Graham's in a let Netanyahu, you know, nuke Gaza day, he'll be like, all right, let's do that. That'll make me look tough. I mean, it's just, yeah. he, okay. All right. Oh, he also casually uh, said the CIA was probably behind uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination. <laughs> Just casually threw that out. But also, as you recall, Ted Cruz's father was responsible. So sure. he's, all, he's also said that mm -hmm. previously. So is this... Just the beginning of the crazy stack this morning. Just this is the, okay, terrifying, crazy Sorry. stack. Okay. I was getting to it. <laughs> and she didn't even study yesterday. She was with a whole bunch of stars. Oh, can I have some parade for Hollywood music? Oh, okay. okay. Jody did the fanciest Hollywood thing ever yesterday. All right. Anyway, it's a lot of, so we're, there's a ruling to, you know, uh, hearing today. Right. And I don't know whether, we'll see what Glenn thinks. She's just going to kill this thing by a thousand cuts. Uh, you know, yep. today it's like, oh, you know, is it was it legal to even appoint Jack Smith? Yes, Keith, it what? was. Like, what? This stuff has never even been brought up before legally. But, of course, with Trump, it's All like right. one Hail Mary after another. No, go ahead. We can talk about it now. What? We're talking about the courts. And I'm playing Hooray for Hollywood. I wasn't <laughs> done about the courts because of the smartest girl in class. I was going to say the smartest thing anyone's ever said about the crime fraud I can, ever. I can play the, after, but now it's the all law and order Why? theme would be more appropriate. Because, because Carol Burnett had to get her hands in the cement yesterday all right go okay. it was fantastic I saw I, a yes clip i saw coverage and she, of it. it was very touching her remark okay, can i just say something i know she has 11 billion awards doesn't it seem like everybody is late on stuff for carol burnett she's 91 she never had her hands in the no. hollywood when did walk she of get fame? her star on the hollywood walk of fame in the 70s okay Eh, right. that's, that's probably more a more appropriate time. But she should have had her right. hands in the... Yeah, but the Mark Twain, everything was late. She's like the... Well, she's the comedic icon of America. The Mark Twain, Mark Twain Award you give for a body of work. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. She didn't she's, have 11 billion she's decades She's still yet. adding to her body of well, work. I, Palm Royale okay. was renewed for a second yes, season. Oh, so, right. Fine. Oh, yeah. good. Well, well, let's have him wait till she's Paul 100. I got to see Paul Sand yesterday. You what? I got to see Paul Sand yesterday. He's in Palm Royale. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, do tell. I saw her very touching comments yeah. about her, but she used to go there with her grandma, and it must have been a huge thing for her. It was. It was. It, I think it was one of the more important ones. Yeah. Cause it, she, was it? Yeah. 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 She was funny, though, because when she was talking, she said, yeah, I've been dreaming about this for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> to my point, Chris. Right. You're, so sure. You're a little late. She knows it's a little late. I can't believe she did. She hasn't had they're, her. They're lucky she has good genes. Right. It's like 91. Oh, well, maybe we'll wait a little longer. Did she bring her entire like bag of Emmys and every, all her other awards with her? No. To all these things? No, but I did just meet. Just put that in the, imprint that in the, just bam. No, 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 no. But I did meet our cousin, Bill Hader. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. And. and He's adorable. And you got to talk to Jimmy Kimmel, and you told I him did. we were there. And did he say, oh, I saw you guys? No, he did not, because I said we were, we were at in the, the Biden event. Yeah, yeah, at the Biden event. He was very nice. And um, and I said, and, and we, we watched the thing, and Biden didn't, you know, stumble off stage. He goes, no, he didn't. And he's like, of he, course he didn't. Right. Of course he didn't. And you talked to Allison Janney. I talked to Allison Janney. I did Laura have, Dern. I, Laura Dern. Well, I've known Laura for years. Right. And Mindy Cohn. Mindy Stop Cone. goosing her. She can remember. Well, she I was told just there yesterday. Everything yeah, we, we already him. talked about Let all this. Let her tell the story. <laughs> well, we, the rest of us, didn't hear it. <laughs> no, it was, it was... I had a shorty on my neck. I just got out down here late. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, she was... It was lovely, and, and my Aunt Chrissy was there, and um, Maya Rudolph was there, and it was fun to meet Bill Hader because he was... Jane Lynch was sitting in front of us, and then he was oh. sitting next to her, and he was talking to her about being my mom's cousin, uh -huh. how he found out, which is how everybody else found right. out. And and I tapped him on the shoulder. I said, excuse me, hi, I'm Jody. I'm, I'm your other cousin. I'm Carol's daughter. And he goes, hi. And I said, and, and this is my husband, Lonnie, and this is your other cousin, Christine, and this is your other cousin, Max, <laughs> and this is your other cousin, <laughs> And me. your other brother. Yeah. You know, and it was very, and he was so sweet. It was a family reunion. It really was. Yeah. Were all your really were sweet. all your brothers named Daryl there as well? Yes, and, and my your brother, brother Daryl. Yeah, it was very, and, and he was just. Speaking of that, Julia Duffy was there, too. She was there. Yeah. Yes. Aww, she's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. And she was very nice. And she was. Well, I would assume lovely. it was a star studded event for the comedic of icon of our yeah. of our time. Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. We, we are old. Someone mentioned a mimeograph machine. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I'm like, nope. I know that. Is. I know yeah. what those are. I used one when I was. A kid. I yesterday literally said, I didn't have a smartphone. I went outside and caught fireflies. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> Big lies getting yeah, harder and harder. Right. To, yeah, mimeograph. Hard. Mimeograph. You can get high on that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can. Sure. That purple. Needs to smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost made test day. Not as bad. <laughs> I got to use one once. I I made a thing for a French class, and I got to use the mimeograph machine. And wow. that, I was in sixth wow. grade. That was cool. Wow. That the kids cool. are listening to us. Just like, what? what? They don't even know on? how to handwrite. They what don't know is going cursive. On? Well, I mean, cursive really isn't useful. How do you I'm, sign your I'm name? I'm not good at it, and, and I got it beaten into me by nuns for yeah. years. It's not useful anymore, hmm. though. All right. Yes, it is. Not okay. Really. Do you sign X? <sighs> you can sign your name without writing cursive. Okay. Printing All it? right, no. kids, 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 everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Get it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. <laughs> you are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 